David just stuck out his bottom lip and I knew I had him. I pulled the knickers all the way up and told him to tuck his vest into them. Aren't they pretty? I teased. They're horrible, he sulked. Well the sooner we find you a nice dress to cover them up the better. I grinned before leading him by the hand to Janet's bedroom. He glanced around nervously at the pink and purple decor. For many boys, there is nothing closer to an inhospitable alien landscape than a girl's bedroom. His jaw visibly dropped as I opened her wardrobe to reveal a resplendent display of frocks, skirts and blouses. Can you see anything you like? I said to the bemused boy, maybe a nice pink one? I suggested. He shook his head and stuck out his lip. What about this one? Boys like blue. I said, pulling out a pale blue frock with with a large frilly collar and lace trimmed sleeves. No. I put it back and pulled out a green spotty frock. This one then. I don't want to wear a dress, he moaned. Everyone will laugh at me. Not if you stay in your room, be as quiet as a mouse and as good as gold. I informed him as I began to unfasten the buttons that ran all the way down the back. On his face was a look of sheer defeat. He clearly couldn't believe I was making him wear a dress, yet appears to know full well there is nothing he can do about it. You're going to look so pretty in this. I said once I'd undone all the buttons. It's a pity no one's going to see you. I said as David began to physically tremble. He murmured what sounded like a final appeal as I laid the unbuttoned dress on the bed. I looked him up and down. His pale thin legs emerged from lace-trimmed knickers, into which a matching girly vest was tucked. Shyly, and reluctantly, he stepped toward his sister's bed and approached the dreaded dress. It's not fair that I have to wear dress, he sulked. It's entirely fair. I said as he stepped ever closer to it. Hold your horses David. You're not quite ready yet. I grinned. You haven't got any tights on, or a slip. I teased as I opened one of Janet's drawers. Why do I have to wear tights too, he complained as I chose a nice lacy pair. Because they'll make your legs look pretty. I said as I helped him into them. Aren't they nice? I asked as I stood him up and pulled them over his knickers. He just looked down at himself and stuck out his lip that little bit further. The petticoating pamphlet was right, once they've got their knickers on, they know there's no turning back they might not enjoy it but they will accept it. What the pamphlet didn't mention was just how much I'd enjoy it, and his barely dressed yet.